Dang it. <laughs> First day back. <laughs> and we're in a mud bog with a flat tire on the army truck. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Frustrated by the nine to five, we set out to make a living making things. Through your incredible support, we've been able to bring you along for the ride, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. Say hello to 20 acres of raw, off-grid land in Northern Idaho. Well, Hindsight is 2020, and I know you got a lot of you told us that we should have taken more trees out, and we definitely should have taken more trees out. And we just got word that the forecast is 80 mile an hour winds tonight, and this tree makes us very nervous. We've compromised the root system quite a bit with all of our excavation, and we're going to try to get it down before the winds come. We have recently experienced 80 mile an hour winds, and we don't want to see what would happen here with these trees in 80 so mile an hour we're winds. We're gonna try to get a few trees down before the wind comes um, and I will sleep way better. This tree makes me nervous. We are moving all the vehicles far, far away, out of harm's reach. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Riley thinks it's okay. Um, so we're gonna try to get it down before the wind actually picks up. And move slowly, safely, carefully, and intentionally. Are you, are you convincing yourself of that or is that what we're doing? <laughs> That took years off my life. Good job. When we were doing this before, it was like no pressure at all and, and I could pretty much always put a tree right where I wanted to. Now with the building here, there's way more pressure and I second guess every move, but so far so good. Hey, put your thing down. Thank you. It's like fully spiked in the ground. Don't hurt yourself. I cannot get it out. <laughs> I'll have to use the excavator. Don't fall on that.
What is she doing? <laughs> She's trying to get all the branches that were stuck on it off. And it worked. up out here we've got everything mostly cleaned up um, which feels really good last load of the day The wind is starting to pick up and I'm really glad that we got those two trees down. We're not stressing that they're gonna land in the building. It's kind of weird, right where the building is, it's in this protected pocket. I mean, it's it's hardly even a breeze right here, but I can tell up in the treetops that the wind is just howling up and over the top of this mountain. It was very obvious after the recent heavy rains that we had that we need to do something about our road to make it passable through the wet season and through the winter. So what we're doing here is we found a nice spot on the property that's got a good amount of like six inch minus rock and we're gonna try to fill in some of the low spots on the road. I don't want to drive through the mud holes until after we put some rock in them. So I'm actually backing up in the army truck down the road until I get to the hole. felt like we had a choice we had to make, which was choosing between having a building up over our heads before winter or having a good road. And we chose to have a building put up. So now fighting with the road is just something we're gonna have to deal with for the rest of the year and into the spring. And sometime in the late spring, early summer next year, we'll try to get this road a lot better. We decided to go ahead and give it one more try. We're gonna back the army truck back down the road one last time in full-time four-wheel drive hopefully we don't spin a tire hopefully we don't tear things up too bad but we need to get one of these holes filled in <laughs> no we popped a tire we're not on fire we blew a tire no i hit that stump oh no well that's deflating that was not expected at all. Um, hopefully we have a spare. Courtney did at one point say, let's grab the camera in case something happens. Does that make this my fault? <laughs> 
We decided to go ahead and dump the rock to make the truck lighter and make changing the tire easier. Dang it. First day back. <laughs> and we're in a mud bog with a flat tire on the army truck. We're th considering, it's, we're not that far from the shop. We're considering just driving the army truck back there with a flat tire. This tire is destroyed. It's got a giant sidewall cut in it. So it's not like we can make the tire any worse. And it would be way easier to fix there than not to try to. I think the CETS just turned on is trying to inflate the tire. Okay. Stand by. So we actually have not just one, but two sidewall tears in this tire. The only bright side is that this is one of the tires that had the big flat spot on it. So we were already looking to replace that tire, but not really looking to replace it now per se. Super bummer. I've looked at that stump about a hundred times driving in and out and thought, man, I should pull that stump out. And it was one of the things we were gonna do today while we were working on the road. Should have done it earlier. That's the stump. Spent time sloping this away on this side so that it wouldn't hold the water so much. I added some of that rocky dirt into the low spot here. I think it's going to make a big difference. That is all we can do. I think it's going to help. I think we've got a little more drainage and some rock and I don't know. Courtney is now on a mission to pull every single stump out that's along the road. I think she's having a little bit of fun too. It, uh, we discovered yesterday it could start at 4.30. We're not good with limited daylight. That means limited work hours. Oh, well, I'm thinking maybe like we work out here during the day and then we work on the apartment at night. Night. <laughs> you don't think you're having fun in the excavator? Yeah. I like, I like, it's like a warm heated video game. It is post crazy windstorm and we are headed out to see how the road fared. So far we have one down tree, but it's just a little guy. It rained a lot and then we did get a little bit of snow. Um, so we're curious to see how our road work did and if things drained properly or if we made the road worse. What's that on the ground? Snow in the shadows. At the beginning of last video, when we were driving through those big puddles, those are the spots that we tried to fix. And we're about to see how they look. This spot doesn't have any standing water anymore. This is one of the worst spots of standing water. No longer standing water. 
It does look like our repair fixed. Hopefully we don't end up with a muddy swamp there instead of a standing water puddle. Oh, we got a tree in the road. No substantial down trees, just a few branches in the road. All in all, everything looks really good. We're headed to town to run a bunch of errands today. We need to get tools to change the army truck tire that we got a flat on, which should be pretty interesting. And then the second thing we need to do is get materials for the next project that we are gonna start. And this is gonna be a fun one that you guys have been asking about for a while now. Stay tuned for this one. I hope that we have enough tools to make it work out. I think we do, I think we have a good plan. It should go fairly quick and it's going to be a huge transformation for the building, especially with the change in weather. Thanks so much for supporting our channel. The easiest way to do that is just to make sure that you are subscribed and drop a comment or a like if you're enjoying the series. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. This morning when we ran to town, it was warm and sunny and now it is snowing. <laughs> oh my God, it's cold. Can we go back in that car? I think winter is here. We've been saying for months winter is coming. Winter is here. It's here.